controversy right now we've got to the disc brake thing going on just want to show you the proof that disc brakes are slower uphill i'm not disputing i've got disc brake bikes i love them in the wet i love them is a bike messenger you know in the wet weather around town they're really good but in terms of uphill performance if you're a stage racer disc brake if you're a professional cyclist disc brakes are slower and we have richie port he did a 702 up Wollonga hill to win the stage and he was only three seconds ahead of Dale Impey, who was riding a non-disc Scott bike. Richie Port had a super light Trekamonda SLR disc. And hey, if I've ridden the disc SLR, and I've ridden the non-disc SLR. Same sort of setups, and the non-disc feels so much more lively. Go and ride a 7 kilo disc bike versus a 7 kilo rim brake. Same tyres, equivalent wheels. The rim brake bike just feels faster. It is faster. Mike Woods, 414 watts. Uh, this year, this is all the times this year. Mike Woods again on a Cannondale non disc. So, Richie Port 702. We know he can go a lot faster than that. There's no power data there, there's nothing. So, we can't really go by that. But we see that, that, uh, what was it? let's go to all time. All time. So, 702 is what Richie's done. His best time is 639. All right. And so, Mike Woods, uh, 651 468 watts so let's have a look again at this year mike woods's time mike woods did 717 for four so he's, his, his power is a lot but then did his power meter drop out we don't really know but we do know mike woods was going all out this year uh so we're not sure maybe he was bonking maybe he ran out of sugar we don't know so but what, all we can go by is richie port's time is 20 three seconds slower on his Amonda disc versus his BMC rim brake. So if you want a good rim job, I mean if you want to if you want to do a good job, get on the rim brake bike for the, for the climbs because that's that's the deals there. Even Jay McCarthy, you know, he ain't, he ain't climbing fast no more on that uh, specialized disc brake bike. He's just it's just crushed so many riders this year. Um their performance is definitely a lot less. Look, look, there's nothing even in this year for time-wise, you know. There's Dale Impey got up there, but everyone else is, uh, you know, faster times. I think Chris Hamilton on a disc brake bike this year. Um, but yeah, so there you go. That's just the proof there that disc brakes kill your performance on a climb relative to otherwise. Richie Port. Riding super light BMC, 6.8 kilo BMC versus 6.8 kilo track disc Amanda SLR is going to go 23 seconds faster. Uh, so Richie Port, if you had a proper bike and you had a little mirror on there and just attacked him earlier, he would have went into it under. And that's that's the proof right there. What about the wind and stuff like that? The power data all looks pretty similar from previous years. So it's, uh, you know, it, uh, yeah, it's just, just more proof. And that's why you won't see Chris Froome uh, riding disc brake bikes at the Tour de France. You won't see that. And I bet Richie Port will be saying to Trek, look, guys, if I'm going to win the Tour de France, you've got to give me a, a, you know, a, a climbing bike, a proper fucking climbing bike. A climbing bike doesn't have fucking disc brakes on it. <laughs> it just doesn't have disc brakes on it. An adventure bike, a touring bike, a gravel bike, a cruiser bike, a courier bike, an all-rounder bike, yeah, disc brakes are great. A noob bike, yeah. But if you're looking for that every second, every watt, ditch the discs uphill. Ditch the discs uphill. Proof in the pudding. Richie Port, 23 seconds slower. Safe to say Richie Port lost the turnover this year because his Trek Bicycle Company, who make a fantastic bike, fantastic bike. I'm a fan of the Amanda SLR disc, but I'm not a fan of it to give to Richie Port when he's trying to go all out, Brussels Sprout, up along the hill. They lost the race because of disc brake hype Trying to push it on the cut. It's just, it's bad, man. 2019 is going to be a really interesting year. It's the first time in history that I can remember that bike races will be lost because sponsors are choosing stupid product.